Hi everybody. It's July 17th. It stands out for me. I think I said in one of my videos last night how whatever came to me today, it would. Well, it's July 17th. That comes to me for many reasons. 17 because it's the one person I love the most, her favorite number. Uh, put it on our daughter's soccer shirt. What do you know? Oh, look, seven letter word. So see things differently is my fun way of living my life because S-E-E -E stands out on seven, seven letters. This was created for my cousin, uh, Brandon, who was born on this earth around now. You can look him up, B-R-A-N-D-O-N-M-E-R-R-I-A-M in Ohio, I'll tell you that. Um, and he is the beautiful one who would come to see me in the hospital 2004 um, after my first brain injury when I was trying to help uh, one of them a stranger, the other one I knew decently well, and a couple going through something. And I was trying my hardest, it says in the report, to um, stop it, but not in a bad way, just in a nice way. And he was in a different place in his brain, is what I've learned after uh, that many years. Um, so that's why I said I love all. Now, and that was my first brain injury. And then my last one, December, is what shut this off. And what came of it is what I will forever believe, the brain soul, which is why I'm here on earth to, and I'm led by our two children, their mommy, our families, and how I see and hear everything differently. And that's why I said, Mark Zuckerberg, I know I can rely on because of his growth, how I've learned to look at everything in such a positive, powerful way. And a reminder is, you know, I leave this up on a light because that's just my way of going, Jeremy, your light is your revival man. And don't forget to tell women how we can see everything differently and how, remember, flip the W. And, you know, it's talking to both of us. Yeah. And then I do owe this because this is in my, <coughs> excuse me, my young mindset, a family member of mine. That's why I keep saying we need to go back to the amazing addictions. And one of them is feel young. Take all of your life experiences and don't let the other stuff get to you. It'll be handled because there's powers that'll help us, which is why I listed today of many we're going to share together. Kobe's shot leads all of us. Or Kobe's shot leads us. Either way, it's there. Trust me, it's 17 letters. Oh, today's the 17th. What do you know? And with the king and key is 17 letters. That's Martin Luther King and John F. Kennedy. So MLK and JFK with every one of us. Me today for sure. That's why I'm taking this shot. Thank you, Kobe. Now, with that being said, thank you right here to, to J and G, who are 3,000 miles away. But what stood out to me, because I feel young, was their uh, last name is a G and her first name is J and it's like JG, like Jeremy Gilchrist. Oh, and as my son would say, cause he did shuffle once um, on Father's Day, I did shuffle like you taught me and see how songs speak to me. And if you knew him, that's him. He said, come here. And I went down and I go, oh. He goes, I did shuffle three times, but I chose shuffle and listen. And it's, you raised me up. He goes, I thought it was good. And if you knew him, the the K from his first letter in his name and EY at the end are perfect and it explains him so well as to how he is a key for all of us because he just said, because he believes so much. He was very simple to say, I hit shuffle three times and this spoke for me, thank you. And it was Josh Groban, who's JG, I'm JG. And then the song was, You Raised Me Up. And that's why he goes, this was good. So listen to it if you haven't heard it. And this is real, and I will never stop sharing all stories because they're not about fame for me. They're not about anything. They're about the idea that, or the fact, that's why Habit Factory, which stands out on habit, is A, and on factory is fact, meaning a fact. Meaning everything I share will always be the truth of what's possible. And in a five-year-old's brain and his belief system here and here, it's real. And that's why You Raise Me Up was his song. to go, well, yeah, of course, Happy Father's Day. And, and then Josh Groban, and then here, it's Jessica, and their last name starts with a G. That's what I'll tell you. And they gave me this. And it turned out to be such a blessing because it's over my light to remind me, Jeremy, remember, one is you, one is the watcher, and together you are peace. And if we add the leader of the brain soul with us who calls every morning and night me, we become that. So... 
You can look it up. I don't know how much time's been here, but I felt like I was supposed to do it. And yeah, these are stories we can start sharing here. And that's why I'm at this level very just confidently because I learned in 40 years and I believe my brain was shut off in December the way it was and then came back on and is where it is today, which is only functioning by seeing things differently, saying bye, bye, bye every day to anxiety, depression, fear, and it's a growth process, but I will take everyone through it. But remember, because you're so amazing, every one of you that I, 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 I have belief in all of you. Yeah, because of what I went through and I'm still here, you're two steps ahead of me. Oh, good one, right? Or three. I don't care. Whatever you want to do. So feel young. Have an amazing 17th. Again, thank you, Jeremy Burge. But what stands out is my urge for all of us to feel young. And remember, this is real. Because that first story he tells of how seeing how we do all of our brains, no matter where you're at in life right now, all of our brains have the ability to see and feel and hear everything differently. Okay? So you don't have to go, oh, Jeremy, you're trying to get me to read a book God, about God. How to see things differently is like a five and a six-year-old, and our kids have proven it. How to think differently. And in this story is when he talks about it, the first one that stands out is Sarah. What are the odds of that? It's my number one. It's his story. And this one is A.A. A. Young. Boom. Well, if I was young, I'd read, you know, half a page or a page, or sorry, a page or two a day. You know, half a page or two a day. Yeah, all right, I can do that. Good. Well, that's all it is. And Jesus Calling Story, whether you believe it or not, it's pretty awesome, right? So this one says, oh, July 17th. I already read this, but here we go. Come away with me for a while. The world with its nonstop demands can be put on hold. What? Whatever song you could think of that you used to go, maybe I shouldn't listen to it because it's got curse words or negativity. No, shh. you can hear it differently. You have a different ear once the brain soul kicks in. So that means everything in front of me could be positive and I shouldn't worry anymore. Correcto. And all of you will have a cool story. By entering a habit factory, and how I see it is the habit factory is just here and here, right? Meaning then everybody that are leaders and all of us together, if we go on together, we will create the habit factory, meaning everything we all share with each other will be positive. Yeah, 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 no doubt. And we have a rad race now to get there together, and I will give it everything I got in leading. You can bet that. And we'll have fun on the way. This is how far I've gone into it. Yes, we'll be in a schoolhouse that rocks on our way. Yes, this is a different kind of school, right? So, and actually what stands out in school, first time ever, Oh my gosh, that's six letter word, S-C-H-O-O-L. Well, if we were young, we'd say, you know what stands out? Cool, right? Thank you, one love, and this is just the beginning. Ta-ta.